Hi, I'm Andrew Cooperthwaite, Alpine Product Manager with Head Tyrolia Winter Sports, here today in our Boulder showroom talking about the all new collection of core skis. Now, before we get into what's new, we gotta backtrack a little bit and talk about what core has been. In season 2017 and 18, we introduced a new line of skis called core. And that really redefined the free ride market as we know it today. And what I mean by that is we introduced a line of skis that took lightweight and performance to a ratio that we had never seen before. We challenged our engineers to create designs and construction that would allow us to achieve a lighter weight ski, but maximize the performance. And the stereotypes to lightweight skis in the past was always the lighter you got, the less performance you got, the less dampness you got, the less stability you got, the less edge hold. And we shattered that stereotypes by introducing the core skis. Now when we talk about today's new core ski, and when I talk about new, I mean all new, new constructions, even a few new models, we're talking about taking that weight down even a little bit further and extending that performance portfolio even higher. And not only just a higher performance portfolio, but a more versatile performance portfolio when we look at the line as a whole. So let's talk about what's new. As I mentioned before, the construction of core is entirely new for this season. And what we've done is we've started with the core structure of the ski. That core structure is a blend of Karuba wood and poplar wood. This gives us continued lightweight and actually reduces weight even a little bit more uh, from the previous iteration of the skis and takes that responsiveness within the uh, core structure up a level. So we get better snap out of the tail, we get a damper feeling, a more stable feeling underneath our feet. In conjunction with that, and, and utilizing that lightweight and added responsiveness principle, we have added a second layer of carbon, creating a true carbon sandwich construction within the ski. You can actually see that second layer of carbon right through this fleece top sheet, and you're looking directly at that triaxial woven carbon. Once again, that adds greater responsiveness. It adds better edge hold on the narrower skis, and it really allows us to give consistent performance no matter what condition we're skiing in, whether it's bulletproof snow in the east or we're skiing in dry, light snow in Utah, we get a consistent camber structure by adding that second layer of carbon to the ski. In conjunction with that, we have also added what we call different constructions for different conditions. And what I mean by that is we're varying the construction and the performance personality of the ski depending on whether the skis are the narrower models or the wider models. The narrower models, like the Core 87, the Core 93, and the Core 99 that I'm holding here, have a more robust construction. So we vary the thickness of the materials that we use in them. We vary the graphene that we use in the tip and tails as well. And we really try and go for a construction that is very responsive, that has a greater level of dampness and stability to it, and better edge hold in the narrower skis. In the wider skis, we go for a construction that is a little bit more playful, it's a little bit surfier, and at the end result, a little bit softer. So in those soft snow conditions, you get a ski that is truly more intended for those soft snow conditions. Like I said, we go ahead and vary the thickness of materials we use there. We also use what's called a progressive chamfer in the ski. And if you get up close to the ski, you will notice there's a transition between the top sheet and the sidewall of the ski. That area is the chamfer, and it follows the ski in a 360 degree range from tip to tail all the way around the ski. The chamfer is steeper underfoot and then it flares out more in the tip and the tail. That chamfer allows us to have a lighter swing weight in the tip and the tail, makes it more playful in the tip and the tail and allows you to maneuver, especially in soft snow a little bit. But when we get underfoot and we steepen that, we add more responsiveness to the ski. And you'll notice in the narrower skis, the 99, the 93, the 87, that the chamfer doesn't come quite as far in on the structure of the top sheet. When we look at the wider skis, the one all new 111, the 105, and the 117, you'll see a greater amount of chamfer softening that top sheet, softening that torsional rigidity, making the skis a little bit more playful and a little bit easier to control in softer snow. Lastly, 
we have changed the size designations. So in the past, our core skis had nine centimeter increments. Now they have seven centimeter increments so that we can fit you, the skier, more personally and get you in a better setup that is more feel focused to the type of skier that you are. Now, when we look at the full line of core skis, you see all the models that you recognize in the past and their names, but we've got the new constructions that I just talked about and a new model within the men's line, which is what you see here. We have the core 87. That's about a 16 meter turn radius. We bump up to a 93. That gets to about a 16 and a half meter turn radius. The 99, a 17 meter turn radius. We go up into a 105, a 111, and a 117. That takes us all the way from an 18 meter turn radius up to about a 24, 25 meter turn radius. Now, what comes back in the skis that you know from the previous version of core is that graphene fused into the tip and tails. Is that unique profile to each model. So the side cut starts at a different place on each model. Further forward in the narrower skis, further down in the wider skis for that soft snow uh, playfulness, as well as being able to be more down the fall line with the wider skis. When we look at the range completely, we have different rocker profiles as well, with less rocker in the narrower skis and more rocker in the tip and tail in the wider skis. So the rocker and the effective edge are all dependent on the width of the ski. These skis truly take the lightweight performance ratio to another level. I urge you to get out, get to your authorized head dealer, and check out this new line of core skis this season. Be sure to hashtag to the core for all of your core stories on Instagram and follow our lead athletes on Instagram and Facebook.